What's this one? This one is Ron's. Two silver crosses silver cross. in memory of two sons. And this is Ryan's. These are the medals no mother wants to receive, awarded to the loved ones of soldiers who have died from their military service. Most perish in battlefields far from home, but Maureen and Peter Anderson watched their son slip away before their eyes, right here on Canadian soil. Neither one of them were the same when they came back. They just, but Ryan, I didn't think. He died with Ronnie. I think, yes, I think his life went at the same time. Ron and Ryan Anderson were veterans of Afghanistan. In 2007, they both deployed as sergeants with H Company, the 2nd Battalion Royal Canadian Regiment. This was a shooting war, hot, savage and unrelenting. Canadian troops were dying. Six killed on Easter Sunday that year when their light armoured vehicle hit an IED. One of the dead, a close friend of the brothers. Ryan Anderson was dispatched to the grisly scene. A couple of weeks later, Ron Anderson was part of a convoy attacked by a suicide bomber, and a day after that, Ryan's own armored vehicle would strike an IED. After their return from Afghanistan, both men were diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Ron struggled with his treatment for years. In 2014, he shot himself in his garage. Ryan, five years younger, was devastated. So I knew then it was going to hit poor Ryan, you know, he, well, he, he just gave up. He lost his best friend, his brother. Like his brother before him, Ryan struggled. He was withdrawn and depressed. The battery of medications prescribed by doctors, antidepressants, antipsychotics, anti-anxiety drugs, didn't seem to be helping. Sheldon Roberts served with both Anderson brothers in Afghanistan as a sniper. Dealing with his own PTSD, he could see his friend Ryan spiraling out of control. So when Ronnie passed away, Ryan, Ryan took that really hard and he just kind of secluded himself. Then last October came the call the Andersons dreaded. And he said, uh, Ryan's here visiting me. I said, oh, that's good. You know, I was glad he was, he said, no, no, he's not breathing. Well, I just almost passed out. Ryan Anderson's heart had stopped. He was 38 years old. Along with his many medications for PTSD, a toxicology report revealed traces of cocaine and the powerful illicit opioid carfentanil. Veterans Affairs won't comment on the Anderson story specifically, but insists PTSD treatments do work. I've treated personally hundreds of military members and veterans and I know that most people they work hard in treatment despite sometimes very disabling symptoms and they do recover. Now with both sons gone Peter and Maureen's six grandchildren are fatherless. They don't know what the military or Veterans Affairs could have done differently to keep Ron and Ryan alive but with their eldest grandson already planning to enlist after high school their hope is that it will be better for the next generation of soldiers. I only hope so, because I really don't know. I just hope for the best. Harry Forrestell, CBC News, Lincoln, New Brunswick. Of all the veterans receiving a disability benefit related to service in Afghanistan, more than half are being compensated for PTSD. And the number of recipients has been rising steadily from fewer than 3,000 in 2014 to nearly 5,000 in 2017. 